Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to make a high-end Dollar Tree DIY wall art. These are the items that you'll need and it's a full list in the description below. Crushed glass, some glitter, Mod Podge, the spray as well as the uh, adhesive kind. You're going to need these trays. These are serving trays I actually picked up at the Dollar Tree. They are very, very nice and sturdy and they don't even look like something that you would get at the Dollar Tree. But I bought six of these. And as you can see, they're very nice, sturdy, really good color. Uh, this is the Mod Podge that I put down on the tray. And you just make sure you coat it very well because this is what's going to hold your crushed glass and the glitter. So just get in, on, get in there, get in all the corners, all the creases, layer it, almost like topping a cake. Take your crushed glass and you just sprinkle it all throughout. Crushed glass can be purchased at Amazon, Michaels. Then you take your glitter and you just sprinkle this down almost like salt and pepper. You just sprinkle it. This is silver glitter that I'm using that I, again, I purchased this at Michaels, I believe. Like the full description is below of all the items that I'm using in this video. I forgot to mention that you'll need a foam core board. I purchased these at the Dollar Tree as well. I purchased two. After you do your tray, you want to shake off any excess glass or glitter, either in the trash can or you can put it in a Ziploc bag to save for a later use or possibly a later project that you have. I use Gorilla Glue and you're going to use Gorilla Glue on the foam core board. Press it down and there you have it let it sit and dry and again I did this with all of six of the trays I put on the foam core board with Gorilla Glue and allowed them to dry for about an hour or two possibly a little bit longer it just depends on what you have going on and the space that this is all taking up I was working with limited space so I tried to get this project completed within a few hours Next, you're going to take a knife, a butter knife, a steak knife, a box cutter, and cut the foam core board. You want to cut it to how your desired taste is. Whether you, whatever design that you choose to lay this down, um, I forgot to share that you can mix and match the trays to whatever symmetric level that you want it to be in but you want to take a box cutter or a knife or whatever is going to work for you. Uh, make sure you put something underneath because you don't want to damage your table or the surface that's underneath. So I had to uh, stop and find something to protect this table with. But again, this is what it'll come out to look like. All of this for $10 and one hour worth of time. This in the store would easily retail for about a couple of hundred bucks. There you have it. It looks really good with these uh, silver blinds that we have in this room. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe. Till next time. Bye bye.